Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Hi, and welcome to Power Grace. My name is Shiv, and in this video, we'll take a look at the three-channel audio amplifier board. We'll be connecting a speaker to it, and the input will be given by using an aux cable. So let's get into it. So here I have the amplifier board with me. At the bottom, we can see that there are three knobs. These knobs are used to control the stereo volume, the subwoofer volume, and the master overall volume. On the right over here, we have a 3.5 mm jack to connect an auxiliary cable. We also have uh, left and right inputs that we can give over here using a DAC. We'll look at this in the next video. Using an ESP32 DAC, we'll give an input over here. But that we'll look in the next video. Stay tuned for that. On the left, we have a DC barrel jack. So we can connect a 12 volt adapter over here. And that is how I'll be powering it. You can also use this header to connect the positive and the negative uh, 12 volt supply if you have it. On the top, we have the left and the right channels and the subwoofer channel output. So I have uh, a speaker over here with me. I'll be connecting this speaker to this channel. So you can go ahead and connect the speaker to the headers. So now that my speakers are connected, I can go ahead and connect the aux cable. So this is a standard 3.5 mm aux cable that I'm using. I'll connect one end to the board and the other end can be plugged into any other device. For instance, for this video, I'll be connecting it to my laptop. I'll just keep this aside for a bit. I have a 12 volt adapter with a DC barrel connector. If you plug this in right now, you can see that the board turns on and there is really no signal coming out at the speaker. I just disconnect this for a bit. However, you can just plug it in to make sure that the LED is turning on and uh, everything works. I'll now connect it to my laptop and then we can play some audio through it. So now that your speakers are connected, you can go ahead and take the aux cable. I'm using a standard 3.5 mm aux cable and I'll plug one end into the board and the other end into the jack on my laptop. So there, I have the input connected through the aux cable, we have the speaker connected and now I'll just go ahead and plug in the power. Now that the power is plugged in, I can go ahead and play something on my laptop and we should be able to hear it on the speaker. So. I'll just play a video on my laptop. So now that our setup is ready, I'm just going to hold the speaker in my hands because while playing audio, if it vibrates too much, it'll generate a lot of noise against the table. So I've just uh, held it in my hand and I'll just go ahead and play one of the videos from our channel. And we'll see if we can hear the output on the speaker. And as you can see that we can hear the audio playing through the speakers. I'll just restart the video and we'll play around with these volume knobs to see what kind of a difference they make. The first one is the stereo volume. So this should have an effect here. So I've restarted the video. If I increase or decrease this one, this is the master volume. So I can keep this at full. So you can see the stereo volume, if I increase or decrease, it affects the output on the speakers. The second knob over here is the subwoofer speaker. So that, really, that does not really have an effect on the stereo output. So as you can see, even if I reduce it, the volume doesn't go down. 
The third one is the master volume. If I reduce the master volume, it reduces the output on the speakers. So these are the three volume knobs. And as you can see, it has a pretty decent volume output. The volume on my laptop is at 100% at the moment. We can switch the speaker to the second port over here and we should still be able to get the output. I'll just quickly move it over here and give you a demonstration. Disconnect the power supply before you disconnect the speaker. So there, I have now connected the speaker to the right channel. We should still get an output since we are playing stereo audio. So I'll just hold the speaker in my hands and I'll just hold the board against the table so that I can turn the knobs. I'll start off with maximum volume on all the three knobs. Oh, before you play audio, make sure you connect the power supply. All right, let's try this one more time. And as you can see, we still get an output. And if you have a subwoofer, you can connect it to this channel over here. I can still control all the volumes. So I'll pause the video now and that is how you can use an aux cable to play an audio file or a video and listen to the audio through the speakers. So that's all for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something today and if you did, do give us a like and comment down below if you have any ideas, suggestion or feedback that you may want to share with us. Don't forget to subscribe because in the next video, we'll look at giving input to this board using a signal generated by the DAC of an ESP32 and we listen to the output on a speaker. Until then, keep learning, keep programming and I'll see you in the next one.